In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make our desktop look pretty. Now, I know a lot of you have seen videos of Ubuntu desktops with all the crazy effects like wobbly windows, which I unfortunately don't have right now, and transparencies and all that other noise. And if you're like me, you're going to want to know how to install them. So hopefully this video will be right up your alley. The first and most important thing we are going to want to start off doing is enabling our restricted GPU drivers. Now, I'm an NVIDIA user and I can safely say that these drivers work very well on Linux. The only problem is that they are not open source and you are not free to modify them. But as I just mentioned, they work well, so for me, it's not much of an issue. ATI users, you don't have much to worry about because the process to get these drivers on your system is essentially the same. So let's get them. What you're going to want to do is navigate to System, Administration, and Hardware Drivers. It's going to scan for available drivers. Might take a couple seconds. But once it's done, you will be greeted with uh, a couple options. I always like to go with the NVIDIA recommended option. It's uh, generally the latest driver. All you have to do is highlight it and hit activate. And then it'll uh, take a few moments to download and install your driver. And it looks like we're in good shape at this point. This little icon right here means that we're going to have to restart our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with part two. Well, so far so good. At the very least, my monitor is finally at native resolution. So let's get on to everything else. Hopefully we've already successfully installed our GPU drivers. And if that went on without a hitch, the next thing we're going to want to do is enable our desktop effects. This is incredibly simple. All you have to do is find any blank area of your desktop, right click it, and go to change desktop background. Then go to visual effects and hit extra. It'll take a couple seconds to uh, search for the drivers and get everything set up. I had to go ahead and restart my session again after I enabled those desktop effects, but as you can see, I have some transparency effects and wobbly windows. So uh, what we're going to do now is install a program that makes our experience much more deep. It is called Compiz Config Settings Manager, and this is very easy to install. Just open up your terminal and type in sudo apt git install compiz config dash settings dash manager. And once that's installed, all you have to do is type in CCSM. There you go. You have a control panel for all of your desktop options. There are plenty. Too many for me to uh, get into right now. But you will find this program very useful. Now the next couple parts of my tutorial are completely optional, but I do feel that they add some nice functionality to the desktop. We are going to learn how to install the Emerald Theme Manager, which is just a nice window decorator for our desktop, and the Compiz Fusion icon. The reason for that I will explain in just a moment. But uh, first, we're going to navigate to our terminal, and to install Emerald, we are going to type in sudo apt git install Emerald. And once that's installed, it's as easy as typing in emerald-theme-manager. And this is the Emerald Theme Manager. 
I've already got some uh, themes pre-installed. And if you want to grab some more, I will provide a link. It's as simple as downloading the file, hitting this import button, finding the file, and you're done. Now, this program is about to crash. Once I click the theme that I want, nothing will happen, and the box will disappear. Just like that. So that's why we are going to install the Compass Fusion icon. So in order to get that, we type in sudo apt get install fusion dash icon. Okay, and in order to get to that, we are going to want to navigate to System Tools and Compiz Fusion Icon. Then we'll right-click it and go to Select Window Decorator and select Emerald. And there we go. We have our new Emerald theme perfectly applied. Now it also uh, gives you some other options where you can uh, select your window manager, uh, turn off your desktop effects. Um, some other things that I don't quite understand but it helps and if you don't like it being there just hit quit it's gone never have to worry about it again I forgot to mention one of my favorite things about emerald themes and uh, that is the ability for some of them to shade windows you can either double click the bar or use your mouse wheel and it's really good if you have programs that are running and you just want to keep out of the way or if you want to peek underneath something but uh, moving on, you might notice that I removed my bottom panel. And the reason I did that is because there is a much better program that I like to use in place of the bottom panel called Avant Window Navigator. And we are quickly going to learn how to install that. It's as easy as going to your terminal and typing in sudo apt git install avant dash window dash navigator. Hit yes to confirm. And once that's installed, just direct yourself to Accessories and Avant Window Navigator. Now I already had it set up, so all my programs are already on it, but it's a uh, very full featured window navigator. It supports extensions, just like the original GNOME panel, and it uh, is a very similar interface to the Windows 7 Superbar. It'll let you open multiple programs at once, and it won't show it as a separate icon, it'll just show a little arrow underneath it. And I'm sure a lot of people would get the same functionality that they want from a typical dock, similar to what you'd find in OS X, or any other dock that you might find in the repository. But uh, this is just my personal preference. At any rate, I hope you found some of the information in this tutorial helpful, and I will be sure to post more in the future.